Hi guys, this is Rose. Hi YouTube. Hi Facebook. All my peoples out there, love you very much. I got something new for you today. Uh, things have been a little crazy. Now I know all this crazy stuff's happening around. Everybody running out toilet paper and everything else. So I was praying in tongues one night. And I asked God afterwards, I said, reveal and, inter and interpret what it was that I was saying. And instantly, God showed me him blessing the loaves of bread and the fish. So I really wondered about that. So I looked it up. Got it. Got to look everything up. So this is what I came up with so far. So the first one here is Mark 6, 35 through, if I can find it here, 35 through 44. I'm going to read this to you so you can see what it says. Then maybe you'll, you'll get a better understanding of what I'm doing here. And it says, When the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. So... What they're talking about is they're out in a desert place and multitudes of people had shown up to hear Jesus preach. They all wanted to hear what he was saying. So they came out in droves into the desert and they'd been there all day in the heat listening to Jesus. They didn't have time to go shopping or anything like that. You know, it's not like they can just jump in a car. Back then they didn't have them. So, this is what, what happened. He said, uh, the disciples said, send them away that they may go into the country roundabout and into the villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. He answered and said unto them, give ye them to eat. And they said, un say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread and give them to eat? He saith unto them, How many loaves have ye? Go and see. And when they knew, they say, Five and two fishes. So they had five loaves of bread and two fishes. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies by the green grass. And they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties. So he kind of like separated all the people into little groups. And when he had taken the five loaves and two fishes, he looked up to heaven and blessed and break the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them. And the two fishes div divided he among them all. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments and of the fishes, and they and they that did eat of the loaves were about five thousand men. So he blessed the fish and the bread, and it was only five loaves of bread, little loaves of bread, and two fish, and it fed five thousand men. That's not talking about women and children too, just the men. He's still counting here. That's a lot of people. So I just kind of wanted to look to see what else it said. So I looked up Luke, Luke 9, 16 and 17. And it said, Then he took the, two, the five loaves and two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed them and break and gave to the disciples and set before the multitude. And they did eat and were filled, and were all filled and they were taken up of fragments that remaineth to them twelve baskets. They had leftovers. They had leftovers. Five loaves of bread and two baskets or two fish filled five thousand men eating. And they had fragments of leftovers. That's shocking. So I kind of wanted to... Come home and do a little test. So, I looked at my supplies. I didn't have a whole lot. I'm staying here at my friend's house watching her cat. For the next couple more weeks, I'll be here for a while. She's kind of stuck up north somewhere. Poor girl, she's in a cabin. 
in the mountains. I hope she's having a good time. But anyways, my supplies were running low, you know, going into the grocery store and standing in long lines to get a few things. And I knew I had extras up my mom's. I thought, I'm just going to run to mom's. I'm tired. I've been doing third shift. That's why I'm doing these really late shows. It's like three something here in the morning. Uh, and before I left, I wanted to do something real quick because I'm testing, remember? So I had, at the time, I had a loaf three pieces of bread in a loaf bag, you know, left over, and uh, two rolls of toilet paper in the house. So, I blessed them. I held them up, I blessed them, and I thank Jesus for it. Thank you for blessing us and doing whatever he could for me at this time. Now I knew I had some supplies at my mom's house, and I did, so when I went over there, I got whatever I had and snacks and lunches and stuff and started bagging up. It was like two bags worth. And uh, my mother said, I have extra toilet paper. Well, I forgot I had bought her a four pack about a week ago. And I said, no, I bought you toilet paper. And she goes, no, I still have a half of one of those big bags. So take some of that toilet paper with you. So I grabbed that, and of course she had picked me up peanut butter at some point in time. Thank you, thank you so much, mother. But she said also she had a box of snacks. I should take that with too. Well, it was filled with peanuts and raisins and some canned goods and, you know, raisin beans and just all kinds of stuff. There's enough snacks in that box for my next two weeks at work. I could not believe it. So after getting that all bagged up and getting it ready to take to my truck, I went through my drinks to see what I had and bring some drinks over with me. Apparently I had a ton more than what I thought I had. So I bagged them up also and, you know, kind of looked around and see what else I had there. And I, of course I grabbed, you know, a couple more things of clothes and things I needed from the house, uh, the oil I spray on my hair, stuff like that. So I bagged it all up and I brought it back here to my friend's house. And I started putting on the kitchen table, loading it up out of the truck, putting on the table. I filled the table and two chairs with bags of groceries. I don't understand it. I didn't even do any shopping. I did stop by a store on the way home to buy toothpaste because I forgot to grab my extra thing of toothpaste at my mom's house and uh, some other uh, stuff that I use in my hair I grabbed there but uh, they didn't have no water or nothing there at that store either and no toilet paper. I am so glad I blessed my food and blessed my toilet paper. Don't forget to do this. And on a side note, if you use oils and stuff in your hair, I'll tell you a little trick that I like to do. I also, on the sides of my bottles, where I use, now this one here is olive oil. I also use coconut oil on my hair. But I like to write little prayers on the side of them. This stuff is awesome for your hair. And this one here, since it's oil, I wrote, Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over, in Jesus' name, amen. And of course, I added the Selah, which you find in the Old Testament after that. This stuff is awesome on my hair now. I cannot believe just writing that on there. I'd like to put good Bible verses on my products, and I don't know why it works tremendously well. Well, my hair always had a hard time with a lot of dryness in my hair. Like, it would get very, very dry and crinkly. You could hear it. And I started doing this. And it's changed my hair. And everybody asks now, it's up right now, but how long is your hair? It comes way down. So you can see it's very long and takes a while sometimes to do. So I want to see what you guys are doing. I hope you're blessing your toilet paper because it works. Cannot believe I got an entire kitchen table and two chairs filled with groceries out of what I thought was just a couple things. I could not believe it. Still going strong. I got a lot of stuff. I'm going to keep doing that. I hope you will too. 
So don't forget to like this video, comment below, tell me what you're doing, share, don't forget to share, that helps me out, and maybe somebody else needs this information right now, and definitely subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and when the little notification bell comes up, hit the all at the top. That way you get all my videos, I got some new stuff planned, so I hope to see you guys later. Definitely want to see what you're doing on your videos. I hope you're putting stuff out there. Okay, love you guys. Bye.